This is Stacey Nicole here with SNS Scraps, and this is a scrapbook process video for my family album. I've already prepped this page pretty much with everything I wanted to use. Thank you, Nicole Jones, for those tips. Um, I apologize for how fast this video is going. Uh, I have to speed this up to five times, otherwise you hear all the background noise for some reason from my video that I've tape recorded, all the rustling noises and everything like that. So here I have um, three pieces of paper that I'm going to layer. I'm using the photo play um, paper at the very um, at the forefront there, and then uh, this one's from the Rather Be Crafting line, and this next one is from Webster's Pages. If you want to pause this in the beginning, I know it went crazy, crazy, crazy fast. Um, I have shown every piece of paper and which line it's from. These two photos are of my grandfather and I, and my grandma, my brother, and I. And like I said, I've already pre pretty much prepped this page with what I wanted to do. Um, Nicole Jones is a lifesaver. She does um, all her page preps, and it, it really works for me. It helps me um, focus on the pictures, and everything's already pulled. I also pulled some um, um, some new stickers from Paper Studio. They are um, about family, which is perfect for this page. And then I'm just working on my clusters here. I pretty much do three clusters. Um, I love clusters. It just seems to work for me. <laughs> it makes my page pop that way. And here I'm just working on the two clusters there. And then this stuff pretty much is all from my stash. And here I pick up these um, stickers and I use the family sticker as well as the typewriter sticker. I love these stickers. Stay tuned for photos at the end for close-ups. I think I may have to go buy another pack of these stickers because they are so stinking cute. I did not like this sticker for some reason. It did not show up because it's a clear sticker. You know my love-hate relationship with these clear stickers. And then I just want to add a pop of red, so I added a couple of these feathers from um, Pretty Little Studio. And then I, of course, had to add, had enamel dots. So I pulled these gems from Bow Bunny that were blue. And then I also pulled some Teresa Collins enamel dots, as well as, I believe, some basic gray. And then I'm just finishing that up with um, my clusters. And that's my um, process video. Thank you guys for watching. So sorry it was so fast.